Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to install a solid state disk into your into your laptop. This is an older Vertex 2 drive that I retired from my desktop that I'm going to put in this laptop. Uh, this goes for pretty much all laptops, uh, excluding Macs I would say. There's Depending on which model you have it's a little more complicated, but as a general rule this, this is the generic procedure for um, replacing your hard drive or upgrading to a solid state disk in a laptop. So, start with your laptop and there's two ways you have to do this. Either you'll have to pry the keyboard out the front or pull a panel off the back and mine has the kind where you pull a panel off the back to get the hard drive. You want to make sure that all your data has been backed up and that you're prepared to reinstall the operating system um, because now you've got a new drive so just make sure you understand all that before you do this. Um, be aware that there's you know a risk of whenever you work on your own hardware you could mess something up so just just be aware of that if you're not comfortable working on electronics then I would I would say to uh, maybe consider having someone else do this for you but um, how you do it is you depending on your laptop I would look at the manual uh, which you can probably find online but uh, if you remove at least on this model which is an HP if you remove the back plate just with a couple of screws you should be able to pop it right off like so so you can set this aside. You can see inside you've got access to a couple of things. Here's the wireless card. Here's your RAM. And if you want to replace that or upgrade it, it's really easy. You just um, pry uh, these two prongs apart and slide your RAM out. There's two sticks in there. So if you ever need to upgrade yours, it's kind of the same procedure. It's pretty easy. That was removing it, and there it's installed. That's all there's to it. But um, for the hard drive, sometimes it'll have rubber, rubber feet around it, or it'll be screwed down somehow. Um, in this case, mine can just come right out. And you'll want to unplug, you want to make sure that you're wearing an electrostatic wristband for safety, which I'm not doing, but I should be. Um, try to touch the edges only, but pull it out or unscrew it, whatever you have to do, and then unplug the serial ATA connector on the back. All right, so there's the hard drive. You can set that aside, be careful with it so you don't destroy it. And then get your replacement hard drive or a solid state disk, like so plug it in just like it came out very carefully put it back in you can put the cover back on make sure that snap down being careful careful with it that's that put the battery back in like so and then screwing down the screws and that's all there really is to it. There's, it's not much more difficult than that. The hardest part is definitely, you know, making sure the you get the software right and your everything's backed up and reinstalling the hard drive. But that's pretty much it. So um, if you're curious about your specific laptop model, I would look in the manual as how to take the cover off and get in the inside. But it's just a couple screws, maybe a panel, and uh, um, you know, data cable inside, and that's that's about all there is to it. Thanks for watching.